Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by Laurent Murphy. Sir, I've got to say first and foremost, impressive debut. Came in, big underdog, against what was deemed as a huge favourite in the area because you heard the crowd. They were kind of backing yeah. him. Um, you kind of caught people by surprise. with, And your first round, it looked, I'll be honest with you, it looked like you were just getting yourself in a groove. And then you looked, second round onwards, you felt like you were performing the way you did in your last few fights prior to that. You had a bit of a groove to your rhythm, you're smooth, you kind of, it's like you shook that first round out. out. Uh, for you, how was the whole experience? So like it wasn't too big of an, like it was obviously it was crazy and stuff but once I started fighting it was just like any other fight but like just the build up the way the UFC treat you um, even coming out the entrance coming out I felt the energy obviously it, it, they was his fans but I felt the energy like as soon as they started booing that just like gave <laughs> me a fire it was crazy man but it was it was just a mad experience and like the first round. I just couldn't get. I just couldn't find his range. Like yeah. he just kept like running off and then like coming in with big shots. And it was like, a bit, like that that whole camper didn't spar because I, I had a knee injury. Mm. Literally a few days after after um, the UFC called me, I pulled my MCL ligament in my knee, so I couldn't spar, couldn't wrestle, couldn't do anything. So like just like my timing was just off a bit. Do you get yes. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it, that's why that's why I felt it took me a bit longer than it should have to get into the fight. Ah, okay, cool. And obviously, then that would have had a difference with the wrestling side of things because yeah, you wouldn't have that push or movement or the, the sprawling would have been even a bit of a pain. Not even not not to take anything away from him because he's no. a great wrestler. He's a great wrestler, um, and even if I would have wrestled, it could have still went that way because mm. he's he's a very good wrestler. I'm not like I felt his strength in in certain transitions and stuff, so I'm not gonna use that as an excuse to why he's taking me down so much. And obviously, then the the injury now it's healed. You've had obviously numerous kind of tests and stuff done uh, and then I saw you were being over at Tiger Muay Thai uh, with yeah. Kane man yeah. that looked pretty rubbish won't lie you know <laughs> I'm sure you missed the weather over here um, and all the Britex talk and Love Island and stuff but <laughs> so, no no I mean either no, uh, no, no. <laughs> but that must be great for the body though that kind of stuff for healing as well that kind of temperature the heat the humidity it's, it's, it's a Mate. It's amazing, like, like so when we started, at, when we first got the call about this mm. fight coming up now, started training, the gym was cold, I was just getting pure little pulls and niggles, you and do, I was yeah. just like, yeah. this isn't right, like, this isn't right, the heat, heat was working in the gym mm. at that point, but it is now, we've got a good temperature in the gym and that now, but my thought process was just to get out to Air and Tiger and do my strength, strength conditioning every mm. day uh, for two weeks, and that's what I've done. Um, I healed my body up and I felt I felt a lot better when I come back. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the people don't maybe who train in gyms like an MMA gym, it's, the, it's, a, it's a vast space and, yeah. there's, and it's not like you can just stick the radiator on and it comes on. You need, obviously, you need numbers in there of body, so body heat mm. generates it. And you, I don't know what you mean, it's it's ruddy cold. I get, <laughs> we have guys that come in and they do not take their socks off. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> even even before you get to the gym, your bones yeah. are cold. Do you know what I'm saying? So it takes yeah. you it takes you half an hour to warm up anyway. Yeah, so you, I have no obligations to be. I have no problem. Sorry, with people training like Florida or California, I go. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. I can see why you do that. You know, um, obviously it's it's great because you've got yourself, you have got Kane, Brandon, all big promotions, big movement. The gym yourself, Manchester top team is, you know, it's ton of guys in that area just like Manchester kind of in fact just the north you know Liverpool as well yeah. it's killing it on the scene with yourself on um, as, a, as a performance as a fighter with those guys around you have they kind of led you with the kind of way to conduct yourself not just with interviews but just conduct yourself as a as an individual and help direct you in the sport yeah I've kind of me I've I, I've kind of done it myself like mm. I, I, I'm I'm dedicated myself. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Like, without I don't need anybody. If they're not training, I'm training. It don't mm. really matter to me. Um, I'm dedicated to my training. Like, obviously, I've seen what they, when they was when before I even started fighting, they was fighting. Kane was going to watch, watch Kane's fights and stuff. Yeah. Um, before I even started, do you get what I'm saying? So that's what kind of like spurred me on. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, I just like the feeling of the fights, and I thought I wanted to do it myself. 
And you fall on FFC, which is Adam Tay's promotion. And yeah. I, I've competed on there as well. And it's a really, yeah. it, you know what? It's a solid promotion, nice venue. And like you see, going to the UFC, you go, oh, no, no, this is a different level. It's a different yeah. level of improvement. Um, but at the same time, Adam's, Adam's show is, is a quality one. And kind of a lot of guys have done a, stop, uh, done a stomping ground and learnt their ways there. And um, yeah. was for you going from there to like the UFC, like you said, a big difference. Was there any time did it just kind of catch you out a little bit? Was it a little bit this a bit surreal, or were you just kind of focused? I'm 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 in I'm in the zone. I am not letting anything get better of me. Nothing really got the better of me. It's just the instant step up in level. Obviously, I've not fought yeah. anybody at that at that level before, mm. so that's what kind of probably shocked me. If anything, um, is the level. Normally, I go in there and I'm I'm. Like, I'm the I'm the favorite. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I'm going yeah. in there favorite, and the other person's kind of scared of me. He's watched what I do, and he's scared of me. But when I got in this fight with this uh, with Zibero, he's kind of seen me as he should run through me. He's he, he didn't have no respect for me. Do you know what I'm saying? That first <laughs> round, and then, so that was like a shock. Uh, so let's look at the fight you've got coming up in London. Uh, yeah. It's you know, UK soil, it's going to be good because you can have, I'm sure you're going to have quite a few people uh, wanting mm -hmm. to come over and watch it in, in that event. Um, mm -hmm. Nice opponent, Gabriel Benitez. says, I, I'm, obviously I'm sure you must have watched him in the past just in general watching fights. Uh, is there anything about his fighting style that you quite like? He's a good fighter, top fighter everywhere. He's a brown belt jiu-jitsu. Mm. His striking is dangerous, southpaw, obviously. Um, I think he's knocked down everybody's He's fought from the fights I've seen. He's knocked everybody down, so he's got a good. He's got. He's got. Must have good power. Um, he's a good solid opponent. I think he's like nineteen, number nineteen in the in the world. So mm. if I if I can win this fight, I'm number nineteen. Huh? So yeah. it's a big. It's a it's a big step up. Uh, so are you purposely trying to get South Pauls into the gym to mimic, like obviously what he can do and what his kind of skill set is? Yeah, of course. The whole dynamic changes, doesn't it? With mm. uh, the yeah. southpaw, the, your technique changes. You, the certain combinations you can land on an orthodox striker that wouldn't work with a southpaw. So, yeah, I just sparred this morning. Actually, my, was my third, no, second spa. Um, I sparred in Tiger Muay Thai against mm. the southpaw, and then I sparred today. Um, but I felt good. Felt good. I, I need a bit more southpaw sparring, but I felt good. Yeah, it does, especially with the footwork. You know, a lot of people. You know they've got to make sure their foot alignment is inside so they can get the straight. Yeah. You know, like yeah. your right straight has to get down there, but you have to have your your lead leg has to be on the outside of their lead yeah, leg, and exactly. you've got to make sure. Yeah, yeah so there's things. It's a different game. It is a different game. Totally I, different game. I, I I I was holding pads for my colleague who was my teammate who was fighting a southpaw and my head was wrecked trying to be a southpaw holding the pads southpaw yeah. style because you you just not it's just not something you I'm commonly used to and and when you start to really look at it it is a far more complex kind of uh, style of fighting isn't it it's crazy it's it's totally different like obviously he's he's been southpaw in his life so you mm. you would have had more rounds against conventional fighting. Yeah. I've had against Southpaw, do you get what I'm saying? So, but I'm a smart fighter. I can fight of both stances too. Yeah. So, I, um, we'll see what happens. So, what did you get out of your first fight then? What kind of stuff did you take back? You know, wrote down after the fight, no pad, right? Okay, this is the pros, these are the cons. Let's, what, what's the, what's the big, big take from it? Take down defense, mm. one. Um, shot selection. Shot selection yeah. in towards because obviously I was throwing, I was throwing stuff I shouldn't have been throwing and getting taken down. Um, I think I should have finished that fight. So if I would have just boxed, yes. same, I think my corner team should have kind of just told me just just box in in the last round anyway, and I would have stopped him definitely. Um, I should I should have I should have stopped throwing the body kicks because obviously I was trying to catch him. But it's all a learning curve for everybody, my corner team and myself. So um, next time we'll be a lot stronger. Yeah, I saw that because you did have success with a couple of body kicks. That yeah. was the thing. So when you get when you land it, you think, oh well, I'm good here. And obviously, then yeah, like you said in the third round, it was poss possibly not setting up the like the body kicks as well. Exactly, it's, it's just experience in it. Like yeah. I've only yeah. had eight eight pro fights, and it, and I've not had no fights as deep waters as that where yeah. where it's like. It's like it's come down to the wire of your mm. decision making. Do you get what I'm saying? I I've think your conditioning was good though. Yeah, I thought you looked. I thought you looked pretty good. Like he looked like he was blown out of his arse. If I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. It's the wrestling, though. Like yeah. if you try to hold somebody down for three rounds, you're gonna go up. 
Yeah. Especially when I'm I'm moving all the time. I won't just letting him hold me. I was moving, moving, moving. Yeah. But it was, my, yeah, my condition was good for three weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad going, yeah, exactly what you're going to do with full camp, exactly, that's what people need to realise, so, and I suppose that gives you confidence knowing that you probably have more in that tank to get out, you know, so you probably have a bit more as in, you can let out more, maybe, with the shot selection, maybe you could, yeah. like, I have one thing I thought was a strong point was your jab, I thought your double jab yeah. as well was landing great, I thought the footwork for that was absolutely superb. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. obviously something to take on board to your next fight. If, there, if there's maybe more stuff you can set up with the double jab, but overall, I I was impressed with the performance because I thought it was a pretty big moment. You know, going into there, with, you know, in I want to say like it, it was like you said, it was his his crowd, massive favorite. Yeah. So I thought the performance, the calmness you, you showed, it was great. Especially he he caught you in the first, but it looked like you were moving back at the same time. So it was yeah. kind of a combination of. Because you were moving, it knocked you back further and quicker so than you... Happened there, so what happened there was I threw... I think I threw, tried to throw a low kick. Mm. I missed and I stumbled back. And as soon as yeah. I stumbled back, he's come in with the left hook. But it was a good shot at the same time. Like, I'm not yeah. going to take that away from me. It was a good <laughs> shot, but it, my feet wasn't steady. And no. that's why he's, he's, he's kind of caught me. But it was a good shot. It was a big shot. And so, what do you do then now? But obviously, uh, since the fight, what did you do for your downtime? What's your what's your kind of thing when you're not doing fighting? Because obviously, everyone needs to have a break, even if it's a day yeah. off. Yeah. What is your what is your kind of go to? I just love eating food, me. <laughs> I just love eating food. You're not the right so weight like, class. You're not the right weight class. Trust me, I know, I know, I know. It hurts me, you know. Do you know when I come back? I come back from Jamaica, I was 82 kilos. No. All inclusive, yeah. Oh, Three no. weeks out from the fight, 80, 82 kilos. Oh, I I, I, and it's all, it's yeah, easy. it's all good food. I love the food, though. After this fight, I'll be, go, I'll be going, I'll be going away again to eat. That's my life. <laughs> That's what I like to do. Yeah, I, yeah. I did it this. I did it the weekend just this gone. I did a afternoon tea and I baked four different cakes. Yeah. <sighs> See, I'm all right though because I'm middleweight, so I'm yeah. all good. You know, I walk around what ninety. I walk around 96, 97 kilo. I'm all good. I can do that. <laughs> so what? What? What's that? Thirteen kilos. Yeah, 30. I dropped down. Yeah, I dropped down. Yeah, I can drop thirteen down eight four. I I can go up to eight four. Pretty simple. Yeah. That's yeah. simple. I did do, I did do ninety six to seventy seven, and that was uh, Ooh, h- horrendous. Uh, I, I looked like Freddie Mercury on his last days. <laughs> it was well, not I good. Cook, I cook from about normally. I walk around about seventy seven, seventy eight key. 78 key. If I get fat, I'm like eighty two kilos. Yeah, seventy seven is good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good weight. Yeah. That's a comfortable way to go. That's a good solid. Mm-hmm. That's a. Good, it means obviously you're not you, when you go back up as well. You're not putting up too much, so your body doesn't yeah. get in too much shock. Yeah, it is a. It is a, it is a balance. Um, for you with the nutrition then and your weight cutting, is that something you got from uh, like a nutritionist, or do you just over years just know? I've just kind of figured my body out. Um, obviously, when I first started at amateur, I was doing seventy-seven. Yeah, yes, yeah, small move. That, yeah. that time I was walking walking around at like eighty-five kilos. That's when mm-hmm. I first first started. Um, and then I went down to lightweight. I used to walk around 82 kilos. I got down to lightweight. And then after a bit of cut out meat, I stopped eating meat like three years ago. And mm. that automatically cut like four kilos off my walk around weight. Do you know what I mean? So uh. <clears throat> that's when I that's when I started to um, decide to go down to featherweight because I was making lightweight very easy. I still make featherweight it's kind of easy, but it's just my eating habits, which I love food so much. That's what <laughs> kills me. Do you know what I'm saying? So I do no, make no, it no show sure notes fights then. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, sure. give me a good six weeks. Yeah, good six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. So cutting meat, um, I've got to admit, man, I, I love bacon. Yeah. Like you can't beat that smell. And yeah. um, so, what? What is that? Just a, this life choice? Did you find that maybe you would try it out, see what happened, and you kind of stuck with it? What made you go with no. that way? Do you know what it was? Um, at the time, I've seen like some mad videos, of, you know, like the slaughters and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like the um, factory hens with um, yeah, like yeah. Tesco's and stuff like that. How yeah, they yeah. have like the chickens one on top of each other. I'm the same. I, I, to be fair though, I get my meat from a butcher, so yeah. I don't do supermarket brands. I'll get like your butchered meat, uh, your butcher's meat, and also eggs. Mm. I'm pretty fussy with the eggs. I won't buy you. 
again, your, your mass brand ones, I'll try to get yeah. me the cleanest eggs. It's worth a few few pence, but yeah, yeah I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, it was, it's pretty rough watching some of those videos. Yeah, that's what kind of put me off. And then, and then at the other, on the other end of it, it was like the health things I was reading mm. and then kind of combined the combine the two and i'd never i'd never look back i did do the vegan thing for 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 about six months but it was got a bit too much i was just thinking like i love chocolate i love cakes and <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was just it was just kind of a bit too much after a bit see john gooden would be very happy to hear that he did the vegan bit for a bit and if you you know if you stuck at it, it would have been it would have been better <laughs> for him i remember uh Tim Elliott, UFC heavyweight guy, when he was fighting yeah. UFC, he uh, we were in Belfast and we interviewed, and he was about to do an interview with John Gooden, and uh, I think he was getting his makeup. Tim, we were talking to him for a bit, and he owns like a pig farm, and you know, yeah. loves loves his loves cooking his pigs on a barbecue and stuff. And then he went off somewhere to get makeup done or something like that. I went, well, you would be there for a few, uh, quite a while, Tim, joking around. And then John popped by and we were chatting away. When I, we were just talking, Tim, John, I said, how awesome is that? He's like, I think he's the first UFC heavyweight vegan. I didn't yeah. even know, did you? And he went, no way, is he? He went, yeah, yeah. So we asked him the question, and if you comes in, that, in like pre-fight interview stuff that he do, comes back out and he goes, I'm never listening to a word you guys say again, and uh, just wind them up because Tim Tim Ellis look him going, "What you on about?" Oh, it's brilliant. Just wind them up. Oh. John loves being a vegan. You know, I can't mock him for <laughs> it. I love I love John Gunn the bits. Uh, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's interesting to see the diet nutrition and how it pans out because, uh, like, I I do fasting. You know, so yeah. everyone everyone does different things. Like I do yeah, the. Yeah. Yeah, like twenty hours I fast for, and then four hours I'll, in that four yeah, hours. I've basically. tried that before, and I yeah. think it worked because I like to snack at night, and it got yes. it cut that kind of thing out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was doing. I think I was doing this. Was it six hours or five five hour windows? I was doing, yeah, yeah. I was doing. I was starting to eat at one o'clock and stop eat, stopping at six. Yeah, it works sometimes yeah. for some. But I, I, for me, I find it worked. It just helps me because, like mm. you say, it's it helps me manage my my, my kind of weight size. I actually walk around like a big. I walk around. I walk past a chippy. I breathe yeah. a chippy, and I, I put weight on. Do you know what I mean? I can't. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing I could do about it. I'm not. I'm not built to be a featherweight. I'll never be. I'll never be that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. It is tough, and I, I like to. I like to go on those tasty videos and just watch them, and just. I mean, I've got so many saved. There's such good food on there. It's so many. I'm going to do the quick, easy, free, free ingredient dessert ones. You think? Yeah, I could do that. Have you made them at all? Yeah, I have. Okay. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made, I made the pastry ones. I've done a ton of the different ones. I've done like yeah. the Oreo stuff and all sorts. I like, do like an Oreo kind of cheesecake and all that. Yeah, did it all. I just watch them. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even, like when I'm cutting weight and stuff. Five week, I just watch them. I don't yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm terrible. I'm, I'm a pretty good cook and baker. Yeah. So uh, when I get in the kitchen, I, that's it. Me, I'm done. And then I have to give it to everyone. I'm like, here, go. I made mm, this. Mm. Like, why are you give? Why are you trying to get us fat? I went because I can't eat it. But I just I like to make it. it, try a little bit, <laughs> and give the rest to everyone else. <laughs> That's right, man. That's I'm right. terrible, terrible for it. And um, look, I want to let you get going and let you get rest up because obviously you have got another day coming up with training. Another, yeah. Uh, you've got a battle coming up, like saying uh, March in London, and it's been mm -hmm. great talking to you. Before you go, though, I need to know your social media so people can jump on, give you a follow, and uh, join you on your journey. Yeah. So my Twitter is just my name, Laurel Murphy. Um, my Instagram is lprezi145, so it's L-P-R-E-S-I-145. And what about your sponsors? What about your sponsors? My, so my sponsors are 1CBD. If you can see, yeah, 1CBD. Yeah. Um, Abbas Cryotherapy. Naughty Boy. Oasis Cars. <laughs> and I can't remember. <laughs> Do you know what? Let me piss off. I've got about. I've got about. Oh yeah, um, Nuavo Estate Agents in Dubai, and there's one more. Ah, oh, that's Re it. Re Reebok. <coughs> <laughs> Reebok. <laughs> Yeah, Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> send us, send them all goodies. That's what he's trying oh, to say. Sorry, um, food, food place. Oh yeah, uh, Armour Stores Food Place in Ardwick as well. The best food. Get there for your food. 
Nice, nice. There you go, folks. And last but not least, give a shout out to people who help you in the fight camp, who are helping you now, and also give mentions to your gym, man. So if anyone yep. wants to go there, they live near the area, where to go? Yeah, so I'm at Manchester Top Team, which is in Ashton. Best gym about. We've um, got a, we've got a good bodies on the mat every day. Got top coaches. Um, shout out to Car Prince, um, Aaron Wilkinson, K Musa, uh, Loz James, Andrew Lofthouse, all the boys in the gym. Um, we're a good family, good team right now. Um, we're training hard. Also, Panikos at All Powers Gym. Um, we've got a big team all over the place, but we're taking over this year. So if you want to get over, get over and train. Yeah, Carl Brins, great name, great guy. Uh, awesome stuff. And look, thanks very much for your time. Have a great fight. Yep. Enjoy yourself. I'll be down in London as well. I'm actually going to this London card. Nice. Uh, so I'll be going down. Uh, so you'll, I'll bump into you with my yep. big my big Viking beard. And uh, um, I'll probably just have some cakes with me in my hand. Just... <sighs> Bro, be my guest. Be my guest. <laughs> I'll be, be eating for guy. you. I'll eat for you. See, I'm a good soul. I'm a good soul like that. Yeah. yeah. So enjoy yourself and have a great fight camp. Yeah, I will do. Thank you, bro.